Now, what are some reasons for censorship? Okay, well, first off, with network TV, broadcast radio, if we want to think about broadcast specifically, things that like basically that, you know, um, technically broadcast is Fox, ABC, CBS, NBC, and uh, OPB or, you know, public PBS or whatever. Um, back in the day when um, you had a TV and you could get cable or whatever, you basically had those regardless of what you had, you had those five broadcast stations, okay? So anybody could turn those on at any point of the day. Um, all you had to do was have a TV, okay? Just like a radio, a radio broadcast that you would hear in your car or something like that. Anybody could turn that on at any point of the day. The FCC regulates those airwaves and what type of content is played on those airwaves during a specific time of the, of the day, which is um, any time from 6 a.m. until 10 p.m., okay? And we'll talk about that in a minute. But why would, like, Comedy, Censor, uh, Comedy Central censor Matt and Trey? Well, there's several reasons, and, and why, why does censorship happen in general, right? Um, number one, to appease audiences, to not offend uh, their audiences. Now, for South Park, I mean, you may watch episodes if you're a fan and be offended maybe by some of the content, I don't even know. I've never been, that's one, one of the feelings, two feelings I've never had in my life, uh, being offended or being embarrassed. I've never, I don't know what those, maybe I felt them. I just wouldn't know how to articulate the moment when I had either of those, of those feelings. But um, audiences, you know, is a major part where, where um, you know, cable networks um, will, and TV, just in general, Content providers will self will self censor. Um, appeasing advertisers. Listen, you know, um, companies that put a lot of money to buy airspace during your show, airtime during your show to run ads. You don't want to offend them. S straight up. Um, but you know, uh, South Park and cable networks actually can. They can run whatever they want, whenever they want. They're not beholden to the same rules. So they can have indecent and profane material running any time of the day. But South Park um, will typically uh, censor like swear words uh, during you know, all of its airings. Um, and you'll get the uncensored versions on, online. Um, sometimes if you watch South Park late, late at night, uh, they'll run uncensored versions. The reason why South Park censors uh, at the 10 p.m. airtimes and other airtimes is because of advertisers. Um, you're not quite at like the, um, you know, uh, adult call line ad block at 10 p.m. Uh, that's like 2 a.m., you know. Um, and so when you're dealing with McDonald's and Coca-Cola and other major corporations that buy ad time, you know, you censor because you just, you want to keep their money coming in and they're going to be less, I mean, they'll invest in South Park, but they don't want to invest that deep into, into, the, into the curses. So, uh, you know, to appease advertisers who currently are advertising with you and to attract, attract new ones, censorship will, um, will often happen. Um, you often have, you know, um, censorship happened to appease uh, specific groups, and these are usually extremist groups. So we saw this with, ep with episode 201, where they were, um, you know, Comedy Central was afraid of retaliation by a, a New York-based extremist group, and so they censored the content, you know, which obviously they can, they can do. But uh, threats of violence, um, threats in general, will often lead to possible censorship, and this is of often on... Uh, zealots that are religious zealots or political ideologues, okay? Um, sometimes threat of, you know, national security threats, etc., where you're not allowed to, you know, disseminate certain type of content or messages that will also lead to censorship. And then lastly, copyright or intellectual property law, uh, where your use of something, um, you know, violates copyright. You can't, you know, you didn't license, you didn't get permission, it's not fair use, oh, it's a violative copyright law. So the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission, all right, um, they are the main censors for network 
television, okay, and um, you know, broadcast any broadcast form. Now you may be saying, well, what does that matter? Because you know, South Park it runs on cable. Well, South Park is syndicated on um, you know on some TV networks um, in the in the past, which are extra extra censored, extra 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 censored. Okay, so. Um, basically, yeah, the FCC regulates broadcasting, so TV and radio, not cable, not satellite, not internet. Those are uncensored zones, and those zones, you know, rely on mostly corporate censorship. You know, Facebook censoring us. You know, uh, getting zucked. You know, um, you know, uh, corporation censoring its employees, like we've seen with Comedy Central, etc. So there's a couple different types of of content that will get censorship by the FCC. The first is obscenity, okay? Obscenity is basically pornography and often simple nudity to it <laughs> on, network, on network television, okay? You'll never see, um, you'll never see this stuff. You'll, you'll never, ever, 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 ever see it. It's never legal, okay? Network TV, um, TV, t uh, network TV and cable, cable, cable often no, no obscenity, no obscene material. However, pay cable, HBO, Cinemax, all those, all those things, anything like that, you can have. You can have that. Okay, but um, typical cable, you will not, you will not have that. Like when you buy a cable package, those stations, you know, HGTV and E Entertain, E E or whatever, you know, Bravo, you know, the fucking shittiest network out, by the way. Um, uh, my wife loves that shit. It makes me makes me die inside. Um, uh, uh, but pay cable. Those those stations you can have obscene material. Profanity, profane. This has to do with language. Okay, this is language that's obviously offensive and grossly offensive. Now, what the fuck does that mean? I don't know. I literally have no clue how that's defined. Okay. The interesting thing is that this often has to do with context. Context is so important. Um, when we watch It Hits the Fan, where they're talking about the use of shit and the way that you can use shit as a word on TV, um, it has to do with content, context, and how it's used. And I mean, you're hearing curse words used more, more and more and more and more. For instance, I watch um, What We Do in the Shadows on FX, a cable network, um, or American Horror Story. Progressively, those shows use fuck and shit and dick, and all these words that typically you wouldn't hear on cable networks uh, even, you know. So profanity, okay, it, it has to do with context, and we'll go through some examples of this, um, but this is so, so, so important, like how do you use the word shit? In the episode, It Hits the Fan, they use shit to make a comment on, you know, profanity and censorship uh, in in the media, therefore you can you can use it. You, you know what I'm saying. So it has to do with the context of of use. Lastly, is indecency. This has to do with programming. So obscenity is going to often be um, you know film visuals. Okay, uh, profanity is going to have to do with language. The use of language. It could be on the radio. It could be on um, you know TV. It could be on cable. And indecency. Um, this is basically you know. Stuff that's not obscene, so this is obviously going to be language or you know illustrations, drawings, whatever material. Let's just say um, that is um, sexual in nature or excretory in nature, um, but it's not obscene. So it's not sex, it's not nude, but it's Randy taking a massive shit. It's Martha Stewart shoving a turkey into her vagina. It's Mr. Slave um, engulfing. Paris Hilton into his tight butthole. You know, those are just the, that's just the, that's the tip of the iceberg with, with South Park, okay? Um, but it's, that's indecent material, right? It's, it's not necessarily sexual, it's not obscene, it's not pornographic per se. Uh, you know, think about the, uh, the Jusians, <laughs> you know, playing with each other's jagons and thrushers, you know? Uh, very sexual in nature, but not uh, obscene, okay? Again, this has to do with context of use. So just like profanity, um, it can be considered profane material or indecent material, but be lawful, okay? Now, it's important to note for um, network television, um, 
specifically in radio, you have what's called safe harbor or watershed, okay? This is from 10 p.m. until 6 in the morning. This is when um, regular radio stations, TV networks, cable networks can play or run um, content with uh, profanity or indecent material in it without any level of censorship. Again, they don't always do this because there is fear of all, you know, advertisers or, or pressure from other groups, um, you know, or other companies straight up, someone on the board of directors, you know, it is highly offended by the material, whatever it is, um, then you can get, you can get censored. But safe harbor is the time where you can, you can have that material um, uncensored. Okay. So a little bit about the uh, first amendment right you hear this touted so much the importance of it and it really it really is uh, a very unique and special and special thing that we have here in the united states that when um you do have someone censor you for whatever reason you get a a feeling about it you know like even if it's like you posted some content with um, copyrighted music in it and get censored. Like you're gonna feel a little way about that, presumably. 